Oh, yeah, then, then, so we now. just come get it, boo. Uh-huh. Let's come get it, boo. Hold on. Walk around this way, show us what come get it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Make sure yeah. we get this. Make sure you gotta turn around so they can see the side. Make sure we get that. Okay, okay. So get it. These will come get it. These will come get it, boo. Uh huh. Now when you come over here down yonder. Just stand up down yonder. And and those right there come on in. Come on, walk the fashion. Come on, come on, in. Walk the fashion. Show us what okay. What's that? That's a come on in. Right here, just knock on the door. He's just knock on the door. 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 Knock on Let's talk about it. Is this the podcast where we don't know what we're going to talk about? We don't know what's going to happen. We thank everybody out there that's sending their questions in to keep it going and keep it moving. Oh, man, this episode right here is going to be amazing because we got two amazing people that I'm friends with that I am also fans of. Please give it up for my girl, Super Singer, um, BET, Sunday's Best Winner. She did a play with me. She played my wife. She played it amazing. Yeah. She married the ring and forgot the man. She's a hell of a singer. She's amazing. Please give it up for Iyana Crawley. Yeah! Thank you so much for being here. And right next to you, you're talking about a reflection of myself, someone who's great, who's awesome, you know, NFL, you know, um, lifestyle, you know, uh, 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 actor, um, a philanthropist, everything you can name. If I keep naming stuff, we'll be here all day. I just want to say that I'm blessed to have him here. We woke his new book. Y'all got to go get it called Woke because it keeps the mind woke. We're going to talk about that today. Please get it for my brother, my reflection, Mr. Stephen Bass Jr. Hey. 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 And back here in the back, y'all already know what's happening right back here. You know what I'm saying? It's our Let's Talk About It family. My brother DC is in the building. Y'all yeah. see him on the episode. Tifo yeah. is in the building. Oh, Give it up. And Tyler is hey, back. Girl. We yeah. back here kicking it right here. And all the way to my right is my girls. Hey, hey, they always show up. I don't know where they come from. All the way from Old National. Hey. Old Maria. Hey. I love being here, and my brother, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Y'all seen him. Let me just talk about him a little bit before we keep going. Come on. If, if you don't know, super producer Jazzy Faye is one of my best friends. He's my best friend, and I'm telling y'all right now, he done did so much music. If y'all don't know, y'all need to go hit Google. I get tired of y'all be talking about, man, he did a layer too. Man, he did that too. He did all that. Yeah, go do some Googling, man. But today you're gonna learn something that's got, that's way farther than music. I'm telling y'all right now. Jazzy, what's up, man? Talk to me. Ladies and gentlemen, you're truly Jazzy Finzel Burton. Hey, Obama Luther King Jr. Jackson 5 the first. Hey, the biggest name in the business, the largest name in the business, you know what I'm talking about? Strongest name in the business, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm a walking branding machine, the jukebox Finzel, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, ooh. A man of many hats, many musics, many, uh, many sprinkles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know when the kids, you know when the kids come and they want to, Bobby Sprinkles! Fizzle, that's me, Sprinkles. I love it, give it up. <laughs> And we're going to jump right into this the, this the podcast. We don't, hold like nothing back. we don't hold nothing back. We don't hold nothing back. We don't hold nothing back. One thing about it, we have a lot of gifted people that's around me at all times that I love, that I'm fans of. And regardless of what they say to me, you know, I have to express their love and unwrap their gifts at all times because they're just so amazing. And I know she's looking at me right now. I can feel the heat over here. But it's going to... 
We want you to sing. <laughs> yeah. You got to sing something real inspirational for us. It's 2022. You so got to share. People put me on the spot. I know. I know. When you put me on the spot, I don't know what to sing. I don't care what you yeah. sing. They you gonna love it. Right. They yeah. gonna love it. No, the, no, they sound, come on, just, she, like, just sing it to us, I'm telling you. The Star Spangled Banner. No! That's not real. Hell no. 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 W-X-Y-N Go there, go, go! Now I know my ABCs Tell me what you think of me <laughs> Yeah! Ooh. Hey, I love it. Come on, come on, come on. 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 So going right into it real quick before we get into what we're all about, talking to all the fans that want to hear what we got to talk about. They're saying a lot of things in here for us, but before they did, we're going to start with you. Yeah. How was it singing and winning Sunday's Best? How did uh, it feel? It was, um, okay, so y'all see the glitz and the glamour, right? Y'all okay. see it before the takes, the editing, and all that stuff. So y'all see all that stuff. It was hell for me. Because hmm. uh, the one thing about it, um, for me, I never saw my gift to be, uh, put on a platform where I have to be in competition, to, to use my gift for competition. This is the thing that God gave me, and this is what I like to do naturally, you know? But um, being on the show, it really, uh, it told me a lot about myself, how um, I was very fearful. I'm very, it, no, sitting here right here talking to you like this is, I'm in the inside shaking like this. Wow. Like seriously, I always get nervous, and I tell people that all the time. So that's why I fought you. I don't want to sing. Like, don't put I me on the spot. I used to be like that too. I'm the same. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, put me on the spot. Yeah. So I was very, very, very nervous. But the one thing I did is I relied on God, and I relied on what He get, what He gave me, and I went yeah. out there. And um, the one thing that I always say, music is the very thing that I lose myself in, yet I find myself. Mm -hmm. And when I get up on the stage, can't nobody tell, I'm my, I'm my own everything. It's just me and mm -hmm. So once I get up there and get that first note out, it's just like, it's the divine. Like, mm, you can't tell me nothing. And if you don't, and so, go ahead. I, you know, so to answer your question, I was, I was scared the whole time. But, you know, God saw me through that thing. And I brought that thing on. You're right. Oh, 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 oh. You know who told me? You know, you know who told me? Made me watch you. You know my cousin Nilly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know that's her thing. Mm -hmm. That's her show. So my, my cousin puts that show on. She told me. Yeah. She's like, listen to this child sing. She was like, Jazz, you going you just gonna go crazy. So I turned it on. I, you know, McClurk and everybody on there. I'm like, she started singing. I can't remember what it was she sang. Probably grandma saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, the first yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I was like, man. How they go? Right, that's what I grabbed. Yeah, give us some money. Come on. Give me a bit. Mm-hmm. 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 Why would y'all do that? But I understand now. 
the, the path that they would take me on because I wasn't all church. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm doing yeah, what I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can go into the temple and I can go into the club and I'm still going to bring it with me, baby. Oh! oh. Hey! Talk about it! I ain't, I ain't, sprinkles. <laughs> yeah! Kiki, hey! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Your nickname, what? what you call her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's your story right, right. now. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That means you can go any way you want to go, and I'm glad that you know that you're not in a box. Yeah. Don't put yourself in a box. And I'm going to say this to you. I just want to give you some affirmation. Come That's on. real. Come. You say, don't put you on the spot. I'm going to tell you something. You're so blessed. It's like, well, tell them. You're so gifted that the only spot that I put you on is a spotlight. Because I'm telling you right now that you're amazing. And don't you ever question. It's cool to, you know, be, have a little butterflies and it's cool. But the gift that y'all have been given from God, I'm telling you, share it over and over again and do it abundantly and confidently. I'm telling you. Because there ain't no spot. Y'all the spotlights. I'm telling you, if I could sing, I'd trace so many things because you can move so many people in music and in vocals and you can probably move in talking. And dancing, you know what I'm saying? Even though I love to dance and do all these things, I was an artist developing choreography for the stars. But when you sing, it's a different vibration. Even when you don't have hair on your head, it feels like it stood up. You know what I mean? So don't you ever question your gift, all right? Don't ever question your gift. Because you're the S H I T, my dog. Absolutely. For Here real. You, you move that thing. So Here moving on to my brother, <laughs> Stevie. Yay. I want to ask you a couple of questions before we really get into it real quick. Um, I know you play in the NFL, so people hear you talk about that all the time. So that's cool. I know that. But this is what I will say. I know they talk about the NFL and the things you've been to, been through. Uh, but I want to equate it to life. You out there playing de- defensive end. Someone's trying to block you from your goal, just like in life, what we call haters and so forth and so on. Tell me, how did you find a way to sack the quarterback so many times and equate that to how many times you can get past a hater or someone hating on you to accomplish your dreams and your goals, Mm -hmm. even though you know they're hating and they're trying to block you? Bro, love and anger, that's passion. passion. Yeah. Combine, when you combine it, that's passion. So, like, when I play the game, when I'm lined up against a 300-pound old lineman, I got to be angry as a motherfucker. What? I got to take I got to take your head off so I can take his head off. So, like, at the end of the day, that anger drove me. And when I sat the quarterback, I loved him. So when I got up, I had passion. Ah, ah, let's go. So in life, love and anger combined. You get in an argument with your old lady. When y'all make up, it's passion. You know what I'm saying? It's like your children. You love, they hate the shit they do, but I passionately would get on your ass. Mm-hmm. Right. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, it's easy to get your, your, your passion when you know your purpose. We're going into the bag right now. Y'all know yeah. shit. Yeah. We're going to go to the bag. Yeah. I love that. What well, if it does? Well, let's talk about it. Oh, 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 oh. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. We're going straight to it. Let's talk about it. We're straight to it. Let's talk about it. You know, the cage, I love the cage because there's a lot of people, you know what, you know what I love about this cage? Uh-huh. Even though we appreciate y'all sending these, you know, your titles and things in, but let me tell you what I love about the cage. What? Most people are not in a cage. You know, they think they're free. They're mostly on chains. Yeah. They're not on cages. Yeah. Cage is better because sometimes you can see the cage and know that you're limited. But you know, we are, we are, we got chains. So we think we can go so far and then we want to get to where we want to go and the chain pull you back. Mm-hmm. And that's your insecurities and your pains and all that. And this is what brings me to this. It says, I'm going straight to Stevie. It says, do people use materialistic, material things for possessions to cover up their insecurity? Ooh. Ooh, absolutely Ooh. not. And- I'm just playing. <laughs> Wow. Your, your cage is your gauge. Okay. Ooh. That's your life gauge. Mm-hmm. It lets you know your what you're Your cage is your gauge. Your, 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 your intentions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what it brought out to, bro. The, the real reason, especially melanated people, yeah. we don't know our value. So we'll never know our worth. Mm-hmm. So the worth is only caught up in the Bentley, mm-hmm. in the house, in the car. If you don't have European people money in your pocket, your own people don't want to listen to you. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a degree, if you don't have a... European car. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your Agreed. people don't want to hear what you got to say. Mm-hmm. So now we got a problem because I got to go get this because I want you to hear what I got to say. I got to go get this because I don't know my value. Mm-hmm. When I when I found out my value, bro, I knew my worth. I found out I was a walking belly. Mm-hmm. Woo! Come on, 
you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you'll never know that because kinder since kindergarten, bro, I told you you were a slave, so you gotta chase materialism. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta chase everything I gave you in order to have some solid foundation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? So that that's my that's my take on the materialistic piece. Bro, the most important things in the world are invisible. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no question about that. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we get caught up on the material, bro, because we've been so taught to look without that we never look within. I ain't no question. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. Let me tap in with you. Tap without in. within. Think about it. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm show you why he's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. We look at the building, we touch it. Mm -hmm. 200 some thousand. Mm -hmm. We go home, we touch this big house, million dollars. You got millions of dollars. You touch all your money, millions of dollars. You got it in your bank, you can touch it. You see it. I see in your bank account. Okay? Now, that, we look at that and say, that's the value. But let me show you something. Touch happiness, how much that worth? Mm -hmm. Touch it, where's that? Can mm -hmm. you touch it? Yes. Can you touch it? That's yeah, that's what you want it to be. Can you touch it? Life. Touch life. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Touch I'm that. Visible. Touch oxygen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you make life feel oxygen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. the things that you should do. Make things in your life oxygen for you. You know what I mean? So those are things that I agree with him. If you don't understand that the invisible is it. I was telling my son the other day. I was like, son, you don't have to have your, your eyes open to see. Come on. I'm just telling you now. He was like, Dad, I was asleep. I said, yeah, but what I'm trying to get you to understand, you was resting, you weren't asleep. If you keep talking to your mind, you'll rest, but your mind will keep dreaming and making it a reality for you. Talk to it. That's meditation. Keep talking to it. Keep talking to it. Keep talking to it. You'll be resting. You'll be chilling. Your body will be chilling. You'll be breathing and relaxing, but your mind will be working for you. Come on, bro. That's energy. Not the one that we talk about. I'm talking about the I-N-N-E-R-G. Mm -hmm. Your inner God, mm -hmm. your inner God, mm -hmm. your inner God, Goddess as a woman, right? If you don't tap into the within, you'll never look without. So when you're so busy looking without, if you don't look within and recognize the most important words in the English language, start with I am, mm -hmm. intellect, intimacy, integrity, mm -hmm. insight, mm -hmm. insecurities, mm -hmm. intellect, information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It start with I am. Mm -hmm. Because once I go here and I get grounded and get an understanding, mm -hmm. now I'm an overstanding. Okay, a period. I'm talking about an understanding. Yes. Bro, you so grounded and convicted, mm -hmm. and now your invisible senses work. So you're not going to hang with the same people because you know their intentions are flawed. You, you, you got intuition, clairvoyance, and discernment. Mm -hmm. Now you see, man, I can't have a business partner like this. Man, I can't lay down with this woman because she don't process information like me. No mm -hmm. question. So you're talking about relationships. It all kind of stems from the same thing. Why do men go, why would we go get the car in the big house? In the, and why are we tripped up? Because... You want to go back to where you came from. Every real man want to go back home. Mm -hmm. Every real man want to go back to that. Oh, absolutely. I know I do, and I know you do. Come right, on. Right. So at the end of the day, that's but true. that's not real. Everything that's natural has been made uncommon, and everything that's unnatural has been made common. Facts. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to shut up. No, nah, no, you ain't going to shut up. You're going to talk. Nah, 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 let's talk about it. And let me tell you something. I'm going to add something to y'all play, too. I'm going to add something to y'all play that's real. They always say, we was having a conversation, he was like, man, you got to speak up for yourself. You got to speak up for yourself. And I was like, you really think that's the problem? You got to speak up for yourself? He's like, yeah, man, I never really speak up for myself. You know what I mean? In situations. And I was like, no, that's not really the problem. He said, what do you think the problem is? I said, you don't speak up to yourself. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. You don't speak up to yourself. So how are you going to speak up for yourself if you've never spoke up to yourself? Yeah. Because when you speak inter That's internal, start, when you internal. speak into yourself and speak up to your, into yourself, it's easy to vibrate. Yeah. It's yeah. easy yeah. to vibrate. First love yourself. It ain't say first love your wife, first love your children. It says first love yourself. You know what I said, Stevie? Everybody know this. You're getting on the plane, the plane go down. What they tell you to do? Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Huh? Put your mask on. Church. Church. Say it again. Amen. Say it again. Oh, tend to yourself and what? Tend to yourself first. And then secure everybody after that. Others. And that's not called, and that is not called being selfish. No, it's not. No. That's called self-love, awareness, right. and being selfless. That's because right. let me tell you something. If you're selfless to yourself, you'll have more to give so you don't have to be selfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got to be selfless to yourself. I'm cool where I am. I'm cool where bro, I am. Bro. I'm cool where I'm going. I understand what it is. I get it. So when you come talk to me and try to dim my light, you don't understand. Man, my light is so versatile you can't dim it. I got a flood light. I got a flashlight. I got a pen light. I got these lights. All these lights mean. It depends on what light I want to be. Because you know right. the best thing to be in life, and I told Stevie the same thing we talk all the time, is an octopus. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. I can go grab different things at any time I want. You can't 
affect my base because you can only affect my tentacles. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you one thing about octopus, it got nine brains. It can use them all in one way, or it can use nine brains at the, nine brains at the same time. Mm -hmm. So what I'd rather be, it's an octopus because you ain't gonna never get in my base and change me. No, You're yeah. never gonna happen. So I don't have to use materialistic things to right. make me feel something. Right. I had a truck and everybody know. He'll tell you. I had a Cadillac truck. I it was beat truck. up, right. tore up. Yes, 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 Listen, I had to get that yeah. thing to the end. He'll tell you my bank account was cool enough to do. Right. I had mirrors that was broke, and we'll go to Rose Bar, and guess what I would do? My boy right in the front. My bro Rob was like, How do you valet that car in the front? And that's what very, I told carefully. Him. very carefully. Very carefully. Very carefully. Yes, sir. They Take got, care of this, man. Please get in my car. Type of cars. He said, man, how do you come up here yeah. and valet that car after this four hundred thousand dollar car? I said, boy, it show ain't the car. Show is the brother they yeah. got out of. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But you know, people would think you self-centered when you just centered in self. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, like when you get centered in self, everybody, everything falls off that it's not of you. Like, yeah. you, you say it's a law of attraction, but I call it a law of vibration. Mm -hmm. yeah. The law of vibration mm -hmm. is stronger than the law of attraction. Because mm -hmm. I can be attracted to them come get it boots. Mm -hmm. But what's the vibration <laughs> that's in the boots, if it don't match with mine, bitch, I'm finna be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, if you don't rock out with that type of, that's yeah. what I'm saying. We got to evolve to that level of old standing and understanding and, 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 and really locking in because that's when we'll see our value as yeah. melanated people. Uh -huh. well, of course. At the end of the day, we'll stop killing each other once we get grounded like that. Because yeah. now I know I came from Hala Selassie and Mansa Musa yeah. and not just Harry Tubman and Frederick Douglass. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. if, I, you, if I tell you a slave since kindergarten, bro, you're going to do slave shit. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you you a master, mm -hmm. Why you think Kirsten and Piper walk around in this like they do with privilege? Of course. I told you you a master. I told you you a slave. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you gonna do slave things your whole life until you unlearn and relearn what? that that, that lie. Hey, bro, you, bro, you got me up. Mm -hmm. Because right now I tell my son all the time he just moved back with me, right? He, he in the house. And I said, let me tell you one thing about this house and this room. And we just did this yesterday. It's facts. I said, boy, ain't no losers in this room. Yeah, ain't no losers in this house. Right. Yeah. We, we, we have lost sis, but we're not losers. losers. Yeah. We're winners. Yeah. Right. We're winners, <sighs> we're winners in here. And right. I make them say it. I said, there's going to be a thing about your tradition that won't be a condition. Yeah. That's right. Right. I promise you that. You're going to talk to yourself every day, and this is what you're going to do. You want to get back on the step, on, on the right path? This is what we're going to do. And I'm telling you what we miss as mel melanated people. We don't have the power of affirmations. Three things we're missing. We don't know how to defer. Mm. And when we do defer, we think it's a negative. It's negative. Right? right. right. We don't know how to right. give appreciation. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how to give credit. Right. And I ain't talking about getting credit in front of the person. I'm talking about getting credit after when he's gone and I still right. be like, they're great. Yeah. And I'm right. talking about I can look at you and be like, you're great, bro. You're great, bro. Right. I love you, bro. You're great. You're great. We think that's something. And that's what happens in our life because we want to hate on each other. And we don't get it. And then when you start to evolve to another level, and I call it the lifeguard level. I told Jazz I'm writing a book, bro. I was like, man, I'm writing a book, man. I told you. I was like, it's going right. to be called the lifeguard. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, it's going to be called the lifeguard. He said, what that mean? He said, man, I was a, I was a lifeguard, you know, it, when I was young. And I was like, I like that right now when I, where I am in my life. He's like, what you mean? He said, because the lifeguard, he sits real high. Mm -hmm. So he can save other people's lives. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing that a lot in what we do with our purpose. But what I did was I figured out how to change it. I said, we've been giving and we've been talking and we've been doing certain things. And our purpose is great. But we haven't been doing it to ourselves in our own reflection. Mm -hmm. I said, so now I'm just going to be the lifeguard to my life because I'm going to learn how to guard my life. My life. And that's all you're saying. Absolutely. So now I'm the guard of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that no more. Yeah. I'm not doing that no more. I'm doing yeah. this. And I'm, I'm okay if you don't like what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. That's fine because I'm going to find somebody who want to do what I want to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, bro. Go ahead. Go yeah. to no, no, no. Everybody goes to the gym at the beginning of this year. Right. They go to the, the gym. I want to work out. But it's a gym called guard your mind, mm -hmm. guard mm. your manhood, guard your wow. money, mm -hmm. guard Ooh. your mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you guard that, you get in the gym mm. because you know everything is in balance, homeostasis. If I drink too much, I know I got to get it out of me. Mm. If I eat too much bullshit food, I know I got to, ha -ha. Mm. right? Ah. It's balance, it's homeostasis. And because everything is out of balance, if you consume death in every, every area of your life. Talk about it. I'm talking about your food is dead, your religion is dead, mm -hmm. your music is dead, mm -hmm. your television and films are dead, mm -hmm. and then your spirituality, what's that gonna be dead? Because mm -hmm. you've been feeding on death. 
Yahweh gave you the farm. Society gave you the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you close your eyes and say farm, it sound the same, but one came from you, you hey Wabe, and the other one came from the lab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yahweh gave you spirit. Society gave you religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yahweh gave you information, society gave you education, or miseducation. Mm -hmm. Cause you can have your slave master's degree and have no knowledge of the master. Yeah. And you bragging to me about your slave master's degree? Mm -hmm. You got a PhD but no GOD. Mm -hmm. How'd that work? You didn't get your bachelor's alone? Mm -hmm. My spirit was in you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. So when That's you right. talk to people about reality, bro, and about higher vibratory things, you too philosophical. Man, why you gotta be so deep? I just want to talk about the game. Mm -hmm. Man, you played in the NFL. I got another NFL, a newfound life. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. Now Forever League. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Niggas for lease. Come mm -hmm. on, wow. This is the new NFL that y'all should have been looking at. Go get that money, come back, break. What's so we can buy this land? Exactly. Hey, hey, exactly. Hey, 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 you know I love this. It's like tennis, man. I love it. It's like tennis. That's why you learn the league. I'm just telling y'all. Hey, we since we here, we here. Wow. I'm telling you, you hey, let's talk about it. Let me tell you something. The reason why I always make movies, and I told God and whoever else, your universal God, whatever God that you believe in, whatever the case may be, I said to me, right? Hey, this boy, hey, bro, come no, on. it's so real because we had these conversations yeah, it's the truth. all the time. That's why I was smiling because hey, it's, it's real shit, man. I'm telling y'all, this 1,000, I said, man, let me tell you something. Hey, God, I'm going to go out here and entertain them first, and then I'm going to educate them after that. Mm -hmm. So if you watch Dayton and Atlanta movie that he's in, and you know, you know the, the, the man is beating a woman. But at the time he beating a woman for the people that's in the Bible, he says Ephesians 522. A woman should, you know, the, um, the, yeah. follow her man. Yeah. Yeah. And I put it at the time of abuse. And the reason I put it at the time of abuse is because I know you're gonna recognize the abuse before you recognize Not the word. word. Yes, yeah. Modi. If I give you the word without the abuse, you ain't gonna do it. You're gonna skip over what he's talking about. Mm. So I gotta right. give you sex. And I got to give you a conversation in sex that's beautiful. Yeah, and while you're making in. love, to draw you that's in, then you tell you about God. So now we're making love, and this baby is so beautiful. Oh, my God, all the moans. And then I look into your eyes and said, you know what? I'm so glad God borrowed, let me borrow you. I know you're not mine forever, but I'm glad that I got you for now. Mm. Because that's when the movie. So I got to catch you oh, to man. give you information. Because if I don't, you're never going to tap in. Yeah. Because people pay attention to the mascot and not the message. Mm -hmm. yeah. So wow. which, when, you vet, when you unveil the bullshit, you can see beyond the mascot to know the message. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Did this politician write more legislation for your people or for the other people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you still, oh, that's my president. They did more for that. Okay. You know what, so, I, you know what I call that? Keep going. I just want to get you know what I call that? Facts, not feelings. And we always in our feelings. Oh, wow. Be careful. Wow. Wow. We are. And, and, and your ego and your emotion is your biggest enemy. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. Okay. You got to keep it going. Because most relationships are what? Locked up. Most people's minds are locked up. Most people, the way they think about other people is locked up. So what we're going to do, we're trying to unlock it. Well, you got me on fire right now, bro. Ready. Ready. Here we go. A lot of people got a lot of traditions. In this conversation back here, DC, I'm going to start with you, man. I want some energy and tell me the truth. Would you be OK with your woman dropping down to her knees and proposing to you? No. Why not? Why not? I mean, she's not going to be okay with paying the bills. And traditionally, you know, it has been the man that's in pursuit of the woman. So that's why I'm not okay with it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to take a second position there, and then you want me to take a first position somewhere else in our, in our relationship. I'm going to have to take the first position to be chasing you. And it's what, you know, traditionally, that's how I see it. That's where it comes from. From my belief system, it'd be wrong. So don't come to don't come and ask me to propose to you or or try to drop down on one knee and then ask me to be a man in another situation. So you, you think that she's trying to be the man when she drops down and says, "I love yeah. this guy so much, I want to propose to him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, you got some reservations over here. Uh -huh. I do, I do, I do. I mean, <laughs> no, I do. Because because no, he he said traditionally though, and yeah. you got to think about the indoctrination of our mindset. Huh? Uh oh. So <laughs> if, if you look at if you look at Really, it's more women in the world than men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In indigenous times, a woman came up to the man because he was the king, and she came to his feet, and he stood tall. 
See what I'm saying? But because European has told you that you got to be romantic. Well, I'm not a Roman. Mm. You want me to be a gentleman, but I'm not a Gentile. So at the end of the day, when Ooh. you start really overstanding what they're doing to you, they're making you be genetically modified. Mm. I modified your genetics, so now you're doing what the woman's supposed to do. And it's many fatherless homes, homie. The man is there, though. In the house, but it's still a fatherless home because he's been castrated. He's been domesticated. Anytime mm. you hear a man say, happy wife, happy life, you right. better run. Mm. Well, <laughs> did, she's the boss. Well, well, no, no, <laughs> well, yeah. not, not here. Mm. But see, How that's can that ever be? <laughs> but see, that'd be helping my point. Because once he's... Oh, look, 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 look. I'm with him. Hey, you know what I say? It's real. It's real. It's real. You know what I say? It's it's talk about that. No, it's true. I agree with him. Let me say this before I say this, then you can say it. I say all the time, whoever made up happy wife, happy life is we. pretty much and gave you a job yeah. and hired me to do something yeah. to serve you. Just, uh -huh. But I'm not with that. So I changed my mind is happy us builds trust. Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, happy us builds trust. Happy us builds trust. Happy us builds trust. Yeah. But let me respond. Because what you're saying is what I'm saying. That once she takes that position, she's in the lead. You no, that's not what no, he's saying. No, no, I'm. That's what I'm getting from because he's saying happy wife, happy life. But see, well, she gonna oh, determine see happiness. No, no, no. Because see, that's what I'm saying. Today's society, everything is inverted. So men act like women, and women act like men. So you talking about the new age now? Yeah. How? how pe but your daddy went. Your daddy, your mom and dad, they were in they same divine. Masculine and feminine nature. Well, we, we ain't so no, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying that for a reason, bro. Because yeah. because since everything is inverted, the woman is gonna act like the man and do something manly. I'm gonna take this, my man. This my husband. I'm gonna get me a man. No, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about when I'm speaking. I'm speaking for my people to be walking in their divine nature. Mm -hmm. So if I'm walking in my divine nature, I'm a lion. You a lioness, mm -hmm. beloved. You go hunt because you pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I keep the hyenas off us. See, yeah. I go to the nature. I go to nature when I look at life mm. because nature is so synonymous to tell you the truth with no, with no cut on it. Homie. Not facts. I love you know animals. Saying? No, I love animals. And then, and then, but you know, at the end of the day, if you talk about tradition, most of us want to hold on to tradition and won't open our hand to truth. Most mm. people want to hold on to religion, but won't open their hand to righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't got to be right, homie. I got to be righteous. Mm -hmm. And righteousness, when it's just like when you show up. You don't know you ugly to somebody pretty show up. <laughs> Damn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just like that with righteousness. You don't know you unrighteous to divinity show up, homie. Mm -hmm. And that wow. might just go. Yeah. That's, that's what we're talking good. about. That's no, it's fact. <laughs> but, no, it's fact. No, it's true. You, but, you don't know you're ugly. Thing, but but just, you go to somebody pretty show most up. Most males are you got to check pursuing the woman. Yes, yes. That's all I'm yes, saying. Yes, I get what you're saying. So to the question, that's all I'm in. No, I know. I, 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 I agree. I love the nature thing. And in nature, is, even though the lioness is going to do it as a pack, that, that lion is going to pursue that lion for mating purposes. True. Okay. True. Keep so, it going. Hold, hold, hold on. 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 Why you doing that? I want to say this. Okay. This is the beautiful thing about perspective, right? Mm -hmm. if, if, if bro looking at a six and I'm looking at a nine, he going to tell me till he blew in the face, homie, this is a six. I'm like, bro, it's a nine. You don't see this nine? That's why I tell people it's always three sides to a story. Not your side, my side, and the truth. It's your truth, my truth, and the facts. Mm. See, your truth is it's a six, because that's your that's your perspective. Yeah. My truth is it's a nine. We both right, but we both wrong. The fact, though, is that it's a number. That's the fact. So when you talk to people in life, you talk to people in nature and in arguability. See, I can't argue gravity, even if I don't want to call it gravity, mm. fall off this building. You're right. coming down. I can't argue we the only people in the world who have grow up to God, everybody else had grow down. I'm not arguing with you about that. Mm -hmm. This is this is nature. That's where you find balance. Cause when I like when I speak, when I ask somebody, I say, hey, how many of y'all in here uh heartbeat? Everybody raise their hand. Mm -hmm. Then then I then I say, Well, how many of you guys can stop your heart from beating? Put your hand down. So everybody put their hand down. Nobody raised their hand for that. Because now we on an even playing field. We can have a conversation because we got a basis of nature. Bro, you mentioned oxygen, nature. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't grab it, you can't touch it. So we was both right, but we were both wrong. But the truth, is, <clears throat> the fact of it is, you can't procreate without those two beings. Yep, that's the that's, fact. That's, that's that's right. no question. How, how you got there? I ain't no question about that. I love it. But naturally, you wouldn't see a woman get on her knees and ask 
She get on her knees any other time. She get on her knees any other time. And that's the right time, but not to ask for him. That's the right time. Traditionally. What you say? Traditionally. Oh, oh, bro, this big marriage. That's traditional. What you talking about? Marriage. Marriage. So what validates your marriage to you? No, no, because you said my marriage. You said marriage. Naturally, about coming down on knees and asking a man for his hand in marriage. Naturally, that's just it. Just you say what? It just don't. It don't look natural. And I asked you though, what does marriage mean to you? Marriage is a unity. No, what what validates a marriage to you? Not what what does commitment. Commitment. Mm -hmm. That's it. So he ain't got to get you no ring. Just commitment. Just commitment. He don't have to get you a marriage certificate. He don't have to get you a ceremony with the wedding dress and all the pictures. Boy, well, you better stop. I'm going somewhere with this because you already there. I'm gonna talk about the <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we not pa we passed the knees. We both was right and we both was wrong. We we talking about relationships in this podcast. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, because if you because if you because if you get down on your knees, if, if you if, if you get down on your knees and, and, and all of those things apply, you can still be in the confines of a great man. I agree. Mm. But my you know thing what is, saying? naturally, would it, how would an onlooker look at it? Otherwise, you still... Me, me getting on my knees. The onlooker imagery. We so in tune with yeah. imagery. Fuck a imagery. Them people don't care about you whether you win or lose. You are gonna you care about these images? Well, you're going to be out here uncovered because only one out of four melanated women in America get married, homie. Mm -hmm. The traditional way. Mm -hmm. But you've been married. You know why you've been married? Because you open your legs. The first sign of marriage is consummation. Mm -hmm. How you think Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines? You think he had 700 ceremonies? Mm. 700 marriage certificates? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, man. Well, my auntie, well, my auntie, my auntie is the king. He was the king. He was the king. Oh, went straight to him. Listen, my auntie, my auntie, and my auntie asked my uncle to marry her because she knew that he was never going to do it. It's nothing wrong with no, I'm, it. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, and they and they live happy, happily ever after. Yeah, it's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just not a natural thing for you to see. Okay, well, we're, we're used to seeing So let me ask you a question. You're talking about natural, right? I like that, what you're saying. It's not a natural Naturally. thing for you to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, because society has made it to where it's not natural. I can agree with what you're thinking in society that it's not natural. Right. I can think about what he's talking about, where it came from, that it could be natural, because they could have changed it. My question is, since you say it's not natural, right? And it's not natural for a woman to go down on her knees and marry a man, right? Right. Why is it natural? Because I seen a post the other day that says, if you're trying to be an alpha man, don't be mad when you have to do alpha, alpha man things, things yeah. and take care of a woman. And I say to that, why is it that I have to be taking care of a woman and all the things I do to be considered an alpha man? Why is that? Why is that it's not what I do for myself, how I lead for myself, and the things that I provide for myself and my character to make me an alpha man? So you telling me the only way for me to be an alpha man is what I do for somebody else? Is that natural? I'm talking to you. Is that natural? Um, it's, okay. Not, not to be misconstrued that I think there's something wrong with a woman getting on her knees. Let's go back. I'm, I'm past that. I'm asking you another question. I'm asking you another question. Is it natural? that I have to be judged by what I do, but, but not by what I am. Um, no, that's not, it's not right, it's not fair. It's so not why fair. does it happen life all the time? Fair. We know life isn't fair. I'm just asking you as a woman, you're a woman, you're a black woman. I like black women. No, I like black women. I like black women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I like. Okay, it's okay, whatever. I'm not, huh? Black women. No, I like black women. Okay. I like okay. all women, but I'm, my preference, said. I said, okay. I said what said. I said. Okay. Okay. That's the truth. I like black women. Okay. I like a beautiful women, white and all, but I'm taking a black woman first. And I want to know, as you and all y'all being a black woman, okay. and I want to come to it, why do I have to be judged by what I do instead of what I am? You don't have to be. Well, why am I? Women are too. No, but let's go before we get to women. I, I disagree. Okay. Okay. You said, but you said that you do what you say. That's judged on what you do versus who you are. You do for other people, for a woman. For yeah, for a woman. So right. I pay. Yeah. So you might not even know, like you said, you might not know my character. I might not be a great person, but you're judging me because I'm paying the bills. I'm taking and care of this. Hell, I'm doing this. Oh, but on the back side, I'm nothing for real. Right. But you, you thinking I'm the alpha man? Right. I'm because great. He's leading. Because I'm fine. Hold on. Because I'm financially leading and. Yeah. things that I'm leading. That don't mean I should be the leader, though. Same. That don't mean I should be a leader. My money, my, let me say this. Hold on, yeah. let me get this off. My money doesn't 
make me a PhD in being a leader because oh he financially stable he can pay all the bills that makes me a leader so I'm saying but you what, what happens a lot of times is you think that I'm a great leader because of the things that I do for you mm-hmm. but I think that's what's better is finding out what I can do for me because whatever I am is what I can apply yep. mm-hmm. what I'm not I can't apply that long yeah. whatever I am I can apply with ease mm-hmm. but if I don't have it in me Okay. This is easy. This is easy because, like Steve said, this ain't in me. This I, this in my bank account. I can go do that over and over again. That don't mean nothing. But I want to know why do you make me feel not me, but men feel like the only way we can be a leader and a great man and alpha man because of what we provide instead of who we are. That's all I'm asking. If you feel that way, you no, that, but yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, that's not talking about the person. Society. He's talking about pop culture. Person. Person. He's talking about that. Society as a whole, just, they, yeah, just society, society, society as a whole, and all of that they stuff. They have shaped, like, it goes back to what Stevie was saying, they've shaped, you know, yeah. what we think about it. Some things mm-hmm. have now become inverted. Mm-hmm. And, and, perverted or dying. Yeah, and over, and over time, so many men, so many men have just fallen in line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've been castrated. Exactly. Yeah. And, 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 and been, like you said, castrated. So, so to the point, and then they, they're at this level where we're supposed to see them as superior or whatever because of their finances, because yeah, of right. their their uh, social stature right. or whatever it is. And you're like, oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Indoctrinated like, with Floyd it. Floyd Mayweather mm-hmm. say it's supposed to be. Oh, like yeah, exactly. whoever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the motto. And that's that's how it goes. Right. Because be- the and then it's because right. when, you, when it's constantly fed to you, then that's and that's what you see and that's what you it's hear perception. and they say it's this perception. is what you're supposed to want this is what you're supposed to just like uh you were talking about your daughter wanting to dress like a rapper you know yeah. but if, right. that's, if that's what she sees mm-hmm. and yeah. that's what's being fed to her right. you know all the this time right. on this social is media this is what's about. sexy this is what right. you're supposed to look like this is what you're mm. supposed to dress right. like this is what you're supposed to sound like then that's what you're going to And then they don't begin. have that to co- somebody to come and counter and, and, counter and teach and give the truth. And give the truth or then whatever facts. The facts. Then you would the, never, they would never know. know. Absolutely. So that's, you be say, prepared. why? Well, that's because of lack of knowledge. knowledge. Well, and also because of what people have been fed and what they receive on a constant basis. You said death. You're always taking in death. How are you going to give gonna life? How are you going to give life? You, what, what are you going to produce? Life. Going. What you're going to produce more of what you, what you are, what, what you, you receive, in. what you take in, you know. That's so you multiply, you multiply. That's so you that's why. Okay. So that's the answer, at least my answer. Well, I like that. I, I think it yeah. goes back to, you know, before we had all these amenities in life, a man was judged on what he could provide because society was not as developed as it was as it is today. So it was not something where it was just your intellect that could make you money. Your hands had to make you provide and make a house. You understand what I'm saying? So it was society that was primitive that said a man had to be able to go and work with his hands to provide. And women were after that. Okay, you'll be protected. And now we're living in another another time, but the, the same rules still apply. So it's still, what can you do? It may not be building a house in the middle of a, a field or something like that. But it has translated to can you provide for a house or a household? You understand what I'm saying? And still in nature, it's the same thing. Can you protect? Like a lion is not going to be with you. A lion that can't protect. Facts. Period. Facts. You yeah, see what I'm saying? So it's translated. But, but and you, it may not be fair. But, but using what you're saying, DC, a lion is not going to be with a lion that can protect. And I, I look at lions all the time, so I know that's true. But a lioness, like you said, goes out and do way more hunting right. than the man do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They bring food in more yeah. than a yes. man do. Yeah, bro. but I ain't talking about that. But they going but when other lions come in to try to But I'm not t- talking about protection, I'm talking about finances. So when he's talking about mostly finance, we're talking about bills, we're talking about the food aspect. So what I'm saying is uh, you can't tell me it seems like seems like I don't know. Y'all can come in about it. I mean I don't put it on everybody, I just talk in general, but it seems like a lot of people tell me, especially women, that they're not dating a certain type of man if you don't make a certain type of money. Oh, that's, that's what they tell me. Okay, this but goes back. Did you want to get on your broke ass feminine knees and be like, hey, take care of me? It don't make sense. That's what you're saying. What you mean? If you're a woman, you trying to give it a man that got more money than you and make more money than you, and you're not doing much. All you can do is probably cook, clean, and 
give them some good love, whatever the case is. So you're supposed to get on your knees and say, hey, I can do these things for you. It don't make sense. Yeah. I can do these things for you and you down on your knees. You attract who, you, you attract who you are at the end of I was the just day. about to say. Because he was talking about a woman being on her knees and asking a man for his hand in marriage. It don't it just goes it against Yeah, but you attract you attract who you are and what you are and in that season of your life. So like mm-hmm. check check it out. Like my my child's mother, I'm so transparent, my daughter. Her 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 and I were both vibrating at a very low level when we connected. You dig me? I, I just got cut from the league. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm going through depression, anxiety. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So I laid down with a person who didn't process information like I would normally process information because I wasn't vibrating I wasn't where I was at. That's I was, on, I was yeah. on the other side. That's it. So if you're in a dark place and then you connect with somebody dark because that's where you were, and you probably wouldn't have even connected with, with these pre- yeah. these people if, if you if you was on vibrating on a higher that's frequency, right. bro. Yeah. So so this is what all these relationships come back. To, to, to point, your family. The yeah. same thing, when you start elevating to a new level, you had your own family members that did you like that. Your biggest enemies are those of your own home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But going back to the, going back to the thing with the, the, the women, the, the, if right now we having a fellowship, right? You a fellow, fellow in the ship. We bringing information to and from one another. So we fellowship. A relationship is if my ship, the things on my ship don't relate to the things on your ship, Jump we can't ship. have a relationship. Jump ship. Mm-hmm. Right. If, if the parts on my ship don't connect to the parts on your ship, we right. can't have a partnership. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's these ships that we bring in, it's information. Mm-hmm. So the beautiful thing is when you connect with somebody who don't process information like you, now you know you're dealing with a partnership, a worship, a relationship that you're not going to be able to sustain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I better let this go. I can only... I got my entertainment friends. Yeah. I got my conscious friends. I got my, 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 my you know. religious friends. That's I got it. my economic friends. Right, and I right. keep everybody in there. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful part is that you connected with that person, whether it's a, you know for future, future or just for that season, that you connected with them. It all means something. No, I'm not. I would never. I would never that. take away my baby and my daughter. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, because that that was Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That wasn't my way. It was Yahweh. So at the end of the day, I done had many women. I played 10 years of pro football. The first year I get out, I get a girl pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So we know this was Yahweh. Because I could have been had the whole slither of children right. by now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is the beauty, but it's also the beauty in being able to see why you did that. Why because I can't point the finger at my baby mama because I know what I laid down with. That's wasn't right. vibrating on the same frequency as me. Of course. You, gotta you take, still eat McDonald's yeah. and I don't. You got a Mickey D's mentality. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You got to take responsibility. Mm. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. right. You have to own it. You have to own, own, own you. Yeah. I'm glad. Now, don't stop. Don't stop. I'm just keeping it going because I'm telling you, let's talk about it's going crazy right now. We're on fire. And that's because of y'all. We really appreciate y'all watching and sending this stuff in because this is a good one too to apply what you want to know. And this goes to the women I haven't heard from you. So I want to know. This is really cool. It says, do you know what men really want anyway as a woman? <laughs> How about that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen, do you we really gotta, know I'm, what I'm the just man wants? I'm going to let this And I don't want to hear what your man wanted. No, 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 no. I want to no. know, do you I'm know what a woman? I'm about to give you woman? my sprinkles. Okay, cool. No, the hell I don't know what he's doing. Tell Oh. Okay. I, thought, I thought I knew. Come on. You know, I thought I knew. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be real. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to. You know, And I met my at the same level. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm here, and you know, and I'm and I'm and I'm digging into myself. We're Come talking on. about digging into the treasure that I am and the vessel that I know that I am, oh, and and knowing my worth. Now I'm just like, uh, wait, wait a minute, hold up. I don't even really know me, so how can I know him if I don't know me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I really don't know. So that's why I'm in the place where I, that I am right now. So that's why I'm sitting right here right now, so I can absorb, so I can know at least it. some things. So that's my truth. Do you really wow. know what men want? I, I I'm very honest with my, sh- my with what you said. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Do, I, do I know what a man know? And again, wow. like like Yana said, learning myself. Yeah. And once I learn myself, love myself, then I can love somebody else. And then and like she said, I'm here to learn. I'm listening. I'm gleaning. And okay. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying this uh inner this just all of it mm-hmm. because it it's uh, enlightening. Mm-hmm. Um, it is. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it really is. So I'm enjoying myself just from the conversation mm-hmm. because it, you know, you grow. We grow, and you know, we. I do know this. I don't mean to cut you off. I do yeah, know no, this. No, a man wants to be wanted, just like a woman says she wants to be wanted. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. true. 
They want to be one. And, and let me help y'all. Be- let, me help y'all let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. Beautiful <laughs> black women. Like again, I'm gonna keep saying it again. I'm gonna wear me a shirt that says I love beautiful black women because y'all not uplifting love, and I'm not playing. And my boy, my homeboys will tell you, and I really like browning down too. I like light skin too, but I like brown and down the most. So the ones that count it out, in yeah. my line, he says it all the I'm not playing. I like brown and down. So Drop a lot of people don't want to like that. I like light skin girls. That's why I like, I like black. thick girls. I love I, all, all that. All I want to see is your eyeballs and your teeth. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 I have all the teeth go see I'm all the same today. It's me. So I'm going to tell y'all something that's big. Of course, it's subjective to things and the people that you date, what men really want. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. that's subjective. You got a tailor. I say the hardest thing in life to be is a tailor. Because we can all go get the same suit, but we got to get different measurements. Yeah, but we right. can wear the same suit. Yeah. So I'm not talking about that. But I will give you a little bit. This is what I think is very important somebody else as a man can add on to our beautiful women. The first thing that I think that you in is in the state of knowing that a man just don't want you. And what I mean by that is, if you think that a man only wants you because of what you look like, yeah. your vagina, your attractiveness, right. and this, you're gonna be fooled and you're gonna always be what I wanna call disappointed. Because a man, especially a certain type of man that you really like, he is already has plenty of options of women. Right. And don't, mm-hmm. I don't care what nobody say, man and woman, they gonna compare. They yep. can say whatever they want. They can act like they brain don't mm-hmm. compare. You can have a beautiful woman and you can be like, she's amazing, she's this. And let's just say she's great in bed and she's a great cooker and she's great at you know nurturing. Let's say all mm-hmm. these things. You're like, man, I'm doing everything right. Mm-hmm. But then she go down to give you head. And right then, her head ain't good. You know what he thinking? Damn, only if she, her head only was like her. Kim, I'm telling you, it would be amazing. <laughs> That's shallow. No, no, it's the truth. It don't matter what you say to me. It don't matter what you say to me. It is. It's the same it's, as if a man a, go down. Yes, it's, it's the same yeah. thing with a woman. Listen, 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 listen. It's, a, it's, a natural, it's a natural thing that happens to your brain to compare. That's all I'm saying. That I don't care what it is. There's something good to you or not. But I'm going to tell you what a man do want that most women don't know. They think men are not mental. We are. Very. very mental. We're very mental. You think we're just physical. We're not. Hey, hey Vaughn, you gotta, can't be just talking about us. You, 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 most men aren't mental. I know, but I'm telling most you. Most men are carnal. No. And that's why the head throw them off. Because no. you're only carnal. Yeah, See watch this, Stevie. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to challenge that. Most men are mental. You know the difference is? Mm-hmm. Like your book. We just woke. They ain't woke up yet. Bingo. So this is what I'm saying. But when she keeps applying head and thinks this and Pressure. sex and want to know why it's not working, mm-hmm. because as he keeps going in the same vagina. Intimacy. Yeah, the same, yeah the same thing. I'm telling you right now what's going to happen is he's going to get bored with that and then going to figure out. He don't know how to articulate it, he but he's going to be like, right. man, this ain't fulfilling me. Exactly. But he don't know. See, see, if you can't make my brain hard, you can't make my dick hard. Of course. I mean, if, 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 you can't, if you can't give me an right. orgasm, you just going to be hard for you it's to sustain an orgasm. We, you and I are twins. I'm a sapiosexual. I, I get yes. it. But I'm telling you that most men Talk have that. They Talk just haven't me. woke They just haven't woke up <laughs> yes. yet. Let me tell you what else another man Talk loves. What, what he loves. He loves a woman that knows how to touch. Mm. Ooh, the touch. touch. The touch. The grand oh, 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 touch. The touch. The touch. The touch. Yes, God. I know how to touch. Yes, God. So, so, touch. So, what you really say? That touch is everything. It is. It is. It's like a woman. I go back to this, bro. Walking in your divine femininity. What time is it? See what I'm saying? That's what a man loves the most. I'm talking about, I'm looking at you walk. I'm, yeah. looking, I'm looking at how you stand. This is all feminine to me. See what I'm saying? I'm like, man, man that's where it's at. Just off your stance and your walk, you already know, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We feel the same way. Of course you do. do. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same thing. Did you walk with that guy? Oh, yeah, we got yeah, it. Yeah, I, I Let me know. tell you something. I, 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 I didn't know this. Oh, Listen, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me tell you. Listen, he can walk in here and I know off the instant yeah. how it's going to be, what it's going to be like. Oh, I know no, when he no, stands, no, how it's going to be. Listen, I know. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Hey, look, look. Hey, look. I'm gonna add something to you to show you. I'm gonna show you how 
women and men really can think the same when the you same. open up this conversation. Yeah. You don't have to hide. You know you watching a man walk in with these great Grace jogging pants on. What, what you wearing for? Come on. What are you wearing for? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And you think, <laughs> and, you think <laughs> and y'all think that we're not looking at you in your great pants, sweat right. pants, right. or your sundresses. We can't wait. Put them sundresses Please on. Please put we can't, on. Can't, <laughs> Hey, hey, <laughs> we can't wait. We can't wait. Now, Mr. some misbehaving booty Listen, <laughs> yeah. Worst thing that can happen is winning and you can't win that thing. Bro. Yeah, but so I'm saying, see how open and fun yeah. this is? Yeah. I'm just telling you that women and men have that in common. So most men don't know how to articulate it yet. Yeah. Let me tell you something else that a man loves. He loves the power of affirmation. Yeah, mm. of course. Not, see, let me, get, let me tell you, there's a difference between affirmations and there's a difference between telling someone, no, telling someone um, an attraction, like a compliment. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, you look great yeah. today. You See, here it is. You look great. Hey, no. Rito, y'all look great today. You, you look so amazing. Okay. Now, this is that is a compliment. You know what affirmation is? Mm -hmm. you, you know you're affirming amazing, right? You're affirming. You know you're amazing. King. Right. You know yes. King. You're amazing. King. Don't ever let nobody tell you you're not amazing. You're here. Baby, you're I believe here. in you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so that's what I'm telling you. So you think a man don't want to hear that? He right. does. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work this that's time, it. baby. Try something else. Yes, that's Try it. Yeah. And, and the only way, in my humble opinion, for you to really figure that out, man and woman, because I know women now, too. I didn't know women. But I can tell you about a woman. I know what a woman wants. Not all women, but I know the basis of a woman. What a woman wants besides a real woman, besides just finance and protection and the things that most women talk about, I'm going to tell you what a woman really wants. Tell her. More than that. Let me see. I'm going to tell you what a woman really wants. Let me see. Uh -huh. A woman wants the true essence of honesty. She want leadership in her mind not to tell you, tell her how you get the fish, but teach her how to fish. Come on. Come on. Right. Teach well, don't, me don't suppress me. Teach and you telling me you Come got on. all the fish and you're going to feed me. Right. I want to also know how to, to do, do it. it. Yep. Okay? And they love the how to. They love the how to. Number three, what she loved more than sex is intimacy. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm just okay. telling you. So just because you think you can do everything in sex and you skip the intimacy, the foreplay, the touching, the holding, the talking, and looking in her eyes, you're going to lose. You can pull it out and you can go all night long. But as soon as I can go in here and touch you and set the mood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the sex going to be moments and the intimacy exactly. lasts forever. And I'm going to tell you what else a woman loves. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what else a woman loves more than anything, bro. She love a praying man. Yes, a man sir. that believes in whatever he believes in. Yeah. Yeah. She loves that. Yeah. She loves that. Well, thank you for the food I'm about to receive. Thank y'all, y'all. For the nourishment I'm about to receive. For the nourishment I'm about to receive. Because that shows a vulnerability yeah. that, 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 oh, that we see. Hold on, you took it away from me. I'm, I'm gonna sorry, I'm sorry. One. Because that's I, that's I was just, I'm a visionary, so I see it. Because if I come in the room and I see my man on his knees, I don't know. I'm going in. I don't know. You see this man studying. Oh, that man. When I see him studying. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, because I'm going to tell you what it is I'm about a, alpha men. Let me tell you something about an alpha man. And I'm around him. Jazzy, Steven, Mike, all these people, DC, Time. Let me tell you something about an alpha man. He's okay with his vulnerability when he's vulnerable. So that's why it's attractive. Yeah. It's not attractive when you are vulnerable all the time. Right. And you're crying right. and this. Now that's right. Wicked. It's different. But when you see, I watched 300, and he knew that he wasn't coming back. And the girl, before he kicked him down in the hole, he looked at this girl and she was like, and he kicked him, boom. When he left, she didn't cry or weep. She knew that he might not come back. They're going to lose this war, man. They're going to lose this fight if you watch it. She even went and had sex with the other dude to help him to go out and do it, even though he didn't do it. But he knew that he was never probably coming back. But my point is, the tear that I dropped was so much power in my tear that she couldn't do nothing but just wipe it and look in his eyes, and both of their tears were dropping. Go watch 300, and that's what I'm saying. When you go and date a man that you not only believe in, man. not only believe in, there's a deep, like Steve said, knowing and believing. Knowing and I'm going to add something yeah. to it. Yeah. It's a different level of faith besides believing and knowing. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I it know is. it's going to yes, happen. Sir. I know my dream's going to come true. I know I'm going to win yes, and compared to me believing. And when you get you a man that you believe in, it's a cool level. I like that. But I'd rather for you to get you a man that you know 
that you live in and you his fan. Bro, bro, because bro, it's somebody bro. about somebody being a fan, it's okay for me to be and for you to be my cheerleader, bro, and it's okay for me to be your coach. Bro. Yeah. And sometimes hey, it's okay for that, you to man. coach, and sometimes it's okay for me to cheer. Yeah. Bro, let me yeah. add to that. The dullest, the dullest woman is sharper than the sharpest man. Mm -hmm. mm. And the reason I know that is because every man came out of a womb. And when, when you really look at the, the, the woman, the feminine energy, if you, if you take a real close look at it, we all have a drive. Mm -hmm. We all have yeah. male and female energy. Mm -hmm. Yours yeah. is emotion first, my ego first. Mm -hmm. You emotion first, ego second, I'm ego first. So this is what I tell people though, bro. As a woman, in relationships and dating and all this and all that, if you close your legs, you can open your emotions. Mm -hmm. But if you open your legs, you need to close your emotions. Mm -hmm. See, because if you close your legs and open your emotions, you'll third eye to really see if this do intentions line up with your intentions. Because mm -hmm. yeah. that's how a relationship is based on intentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then as a man, if I unzip my pants, I got to zip up my ego. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if I zip up my pants, I can let my ego hang. Because the first thing she's going to say to me is, oh, I need why you went slaying anyway. That's why you went, oh, you broke ass. All this. <laughs> But we've been, I've been beating your bike out for years. Mike. What are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, I went, I went yeah. long. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Nobody is capping nothing. What we capping about? I don't know what we nothing about. This ain't capping yeah. D, girl, you got a line. I don't think you're capping D, but you capping D. You bring some real shit, then. What are we talking about? You ain't capping D's unless you capping D's. You ain't, what's the cap? I mean, we chat. Let me talk about the comments that we are. And when, and when mama you say, and then the, uh, you know uh, Kevin, fire yeah, ass cap. Oh, she has that fire ass cap. Can't get off of her finger there, bro. No, I'm still on that. You still on that? Who can get that, bro? Bro, that was when you got down. I know she got something over there. I know she wanted to. Let it out. Let it out. Yeah, I feel it. I know. Let it out. She want to talk about commitment. Let it out. Ain't nobody stopping you. Because it's like it's like oh, his sex gotta be so amazing, and you've been in this relationship for this person for three four years, and his and he has diabetes, and he can't even get it up anymore. That don't. That's not the same thing. She talking about from the beginning. We're not talking about somebody who is. Yeah, that's my dad. Somebody get diabetes but in a car wreck. We're talking about longevity. Who cares? Well, she's not going to go that long. She said she's not going that long if it, it's not good. It, Two it, or three times is over. It can be good <laughs> for the first five years. Yeah. Until that nigga get sick. No, she didn't say that. Until maybe, or she maybe get in a car accident. You're a She didn't, say that. She she didn't say that. She I said mean, it can always be nice. That is that is the part of commitment I'm talking about. When you find I'm not committed. I'm not going to commit to somebody if I can't if I can't connect with you on every level, sexually, mm -hmm. financially, in the beginning, mentally, of course. in the beginning. No, but she said she ain't. She said she can't. She did. I'm not gonna talk about how it starts. How it starts. Yes. How it now, starts if something, starts. Starts. Yes. Now, if something let's say I'm in a marriage and things are cool, and he gets hurt, and something happens, and we can't have sex. That's, okay, but there there's something that is already the foundation already yeah, has been already. laid. And that's but in the beginning, and I'm not going to marry you yeah. if, I, if I'm yeah, not I can. connected. But, but no, that's different. That's, 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 that's what we talked about. That's, 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 that's what we said. That's nothing shallow about No, there's yeah. nothing shallow about that. That's my And you can't build what you're trying to do on the ends of the bell curve. The standard deviation is most people are going to be healthy for a very long time in their relationship. And you're talking about extenuated circumstances. I have a god sister who dated a paraplegic. Wow. It right. happens, right. but you can't talk about the two or three percent. You got to talk about the 60 or 70 percent. Okay, so what are we talking about the beginning? What are we talking about? 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 What are we we don't, please, please, please. Hold it's on. not that the sex has to be great out the gate because I have to learn you, you have to learn right. me. We don't figure yeah, this we thing out. Yeah. If, if magic happens, baby, it happens. Yeah. However, if the shit don't get right, I'm not staying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. If it's not running, running. If the shit don't get right, she's going to be left. I'm turning left. If it tragically ends, we all, stay there. If, it tra if something, if, bar, if, the, if love is there, if the foundation is there, yeah. and something happens where he cannot perform, fine. That we are here because it goes beyond sex. But initially, right. if I'm getting, if this, 
intimacy and sex is a tool of intimacy. Any way you want to call it, That's it's right. a tool. If that isn't there, what else is there? But what else do we got true. to build on? That's true. I and need that's my thing. I, I that's gotta why I don't have think that be based on something. <laughs> that's like, I gotta have it. Because those I things don't last. Looks don't last. But, but, Health doesn't last. Physicality doesn't last. So you gotta give somebody because they have a good character. This person is family we born. No, no, this person is no, not family born. They're not the sexual deviant or no weirdo or no shit. No pedophile. This person is a good person. They may not be the best in bed, but I can take this person. I can work with them because they're not a weirdo. They're no freak and, and there is somebody, somebody for safe. everybody. That, that, that person is just not yeah. that I mean, within you, Hold on, let me just tell you this real quick. If you fall out with everybody, it's usually you. You didn't fell out with everybody on this side. <laughs> <laughs> everybody else with you. It's probably your your, your infamous and probably wrong. Are you saying that everyone's fell out with me on the set? Yeah, I'm just saying. We all right, I'm agreeing with me. Yeah, I disagree with you. Yes, we are disagreeing. That always happens. I'm used to that. But what is okay. But what is accountability? I love this. I'm talking about this. But you know what? But you know what, baby? To each his own. Yeah, yeah. to each his own. Yeah. That's I'm where, like that's where we, that's how we round this up. This I mean, because. This is, we, this this is, is funky. funky. This is funky yeah, for me. I just, I, this is what I got a problem. I just got a problem with people just disposing people. Like, see, that's not even that What happened? You're dick and you been now. You're not good for me, but you, you attended to my family. You have you actually took on the kids that um that's not your kids. And again, you're a good guy. You know what I mean? But you're not disposing because his penis stay. isn't two inches bigger than what you have. But they, they, they may be. And he's not going to use it in a few years later anyway. But they may be. I think people are thinking about the stigmatizations on sex. If the person that you're with not handling It's not the only thing, but it's a big thing. Maybe they're talking about maybe they're sexual. It's not the only thing. We're not saying that. But don't throw the person away. You're saying that I'm, sex I'm is the only thing. Away. You're hold saying on, that right. sex is the only thing. It is not the only thing. It However, is it is That's a big about. factor. Yeah. Simply because I got to be with you or you, you know, whoever I'm locked up with for the rest oh of my, my life. And oh if, God. let's say, we got a good 50 years before you go down, mm -hmm. then I need <laughs> these 50 years <laughs> to be You better still be rocking up. Yeah. 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 I have been so satisfied within them 50 years. I can stay with you for the rest of the time. I'm cool. But we've got that, again, we had that time in, that intimacy, that, that foundation yeah. has been well, that point, I know all your other ways, too. I know. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 Okay, let, let her we speak, so up. Up. We gonna look up longer than they can look down. Uh -oh. You understand? We gonna look up yep. longer okay. than they can look down. I got you. So if you with a man, if you if a man chooses you, mm -hmm. and then they, you know we kind of like, you know, the neck and the head. Mm -hmm. If a man chooses you, you gonna have to deal with the fact that he can't look down longer than you can look up. So he better use his mouth, or he better use his finger, or you better have that toy on deck. Because after that, that's it. What you you mean? can't get that thing. A woman can look up longer than a man can look down. What Use you your mean? imagination. I, mean, I don't like my imagination. I want you to tell me what you mean. Just, just a say woman it. can yeah. receive sex and enjoy sex longer than a man can. Period. Oh, Y'all can't get hard forever, bro. Chico. You can't get hard forever. Chico. Your man is hard forever. Chico. 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 Chico.
Talk about my reflection and what I reflect. What I do, what I do, what I do. My personal reflection. No, no and you can feel right. how a woman don't want you to go nowhere, bruh, for real, by, by that. I don't want nobody to have access to all that. I just want you to upgrade that part of your life if you're having that problem. It Lord, ain't Jesus about that. Them. I don't be on them Tico. No, but you'll no. be okay. No, I'm just but saying. But what I'm telling you is, I don't. I just don't like how hum, hum, humans do each other like. I'm not talking uh, about you that. You can't fuck. Tico, Tico, you, let me stop you oh, right quick. You let me stop you right quick. Just listen to me. And then like we're going to move that's on. Listen, right. I understand. Shallow. You ain't got to like it. But I just want to. I just want to make it and clarify to you. That's not what they said. That's what what we said is that at the end of the day, before we go all the way down the street and all the way around the corner mm -hmm. and all the way to Miami, Tennessee, and so forth, all around, around the world. I haven't about... finished. I haven't finished. You, you, that's one thing. You ain't let me finish. You cannot be upset with what I want to do my life with. I'm not saying you are. I'm okay. just saying the way you're talking, you're saying you got a problem with certain people. Yeah. That don't mean just because this is what I like or somebody like this type of person, not financial and all that, but this type of person and this is what I like. And sex is big to her, then, and good sex is big to her. It's important because if she's planning on going for the rest of her life and want to be with one person, because it's already hard to be with one person. I don't care what yeah, you say. It it's already hard already. That's so to be with one person, I know, no, it's more than communication. I'm not having sex with her. No, listen. I'm not for I'm not for me. No, communication between communication and connection. It's the connection, not the communication. Because sometimes tell people all the time, communication, I said this before, is yeah, not the key. It's, yeah. it's not, it's one of the exercise to the master key called comprehension. Because we don't understand each other, it don't make no difference anyway. Right. I am promise you it don't matter. We can talk all day, Stevie ran the wrong play, and the coach gonna be like, Stevie, I, didn't it, I thought you knew the play, bro. Right. He gonna be like, yeah, I, I thought I did too. So it don't matter, go sit on the bench, Stevie, because you don't know the play. Yeah. So what I'm trying to tell you is that people like what they like, but moving on. Yeah, let's, let's make it good. To see what we're talking about. Right. This was a good one since you want to talk about. So, Steve, you want right. our, you know, amazing VIP guest. You want to talk about this, so we're gonna talk about it. What did COVID and the and the pandemic do to our relationships right now? Wow. What did it do? COVID, 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 mm. Corona is a disease, right? Mm-hmm. That yeah, they so they say. Corona. Corona. A virus. A virus. A virus. A virus. Disease. Come on, okay. This. Yeah. Y'all okay. with me? So here's yeah. my thing though, disease, right? God dang. Come on. Some people, we suffer from STDs. Mm -hmm. Spiritually transmitted diseases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Corona ex exposed the spirit of what's really going on. What's really going you on. was already eating bad food and unhealthy. So yeah. when you got corona, it exposed you. Yeah. You yeah. gone at 38. Mm -hmm. Did what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You already had diabetes, high blood pressure, and strokes. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you want to mandate something, Mandate to shut down McDonald's and Popeyes and Chuck Chicken. Yeah. 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 Okay, don't mandate me to go here, but but you want to say, listen, man, mandate, god dang it, to to tell to make a commercial to tell children to eat fruits and vegetables and drink water. Not all the commercials that are telling me to drink in and smoke cigarettes and get up and, and pop this pill. And if it does this, it'll make sure your left nipple falls off if you take it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't give me that. This is what this is what we're talking about, bro. And at the end of the day. Corona stands for crown. And because we not really, the crown of your head has to be consecrated, protected, and covered. And because if you control the mind, you control the man. Yeah. So if you if the man's mind is built on fear. Come on. God and fear can't occupy the same space, homie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On no day. So I gotta play fear on you. Yeah. When you know that you got an immune system from the creator. Yeah. yeah. Which See what I'm saying? Now, I, I, to who take takes it? Data. Yeah, no, who takes it? it? Who don't? That's on y'all. But I know for me, what I stand on, right? And so I gotta, I gotta be righteous in that. 
you know, I've lost, I've met, I couldn't go to Canada and speak. I couldn't do this TV this show because it, you know what I'm saying? But when you stand on righteousness, bro, Yahweh look out for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think the pandemic did to relationships? I just really think it, um, it opened up a lot of people, uh, awareness, eyes. As far as family, let me speak on family. And I always speak from um, a personal place. I, I try to, because I try to uh, just come from a place so people can relate. So with me and my family, we, weren't, we didn't have the greatest uh, family dynamic. You know, we didn't. So what it did for me was I went home and I sat in it. And I sat there. And it made us come together because I guess they started to see, like, oh, my God, it's just the fear mm -hmm. that they... You know, of the pandemic, are we going to die tomorrow? Can we get it? Can we do this? We, we walk in the house spraying each other that, but we loving on each other. We the guy, I mean, it was, it was that, yeah, yeah. that serious. But for me, for relationships, I thank the people around me. It brought us closer together. What about you? I think um, the same thing, like what, what, when she said, you know, bringing people together. You know what I mean? Because, you know, with my stepmom, of course, you know, we lost out of COVID. Mm -hmm. And that was because Sorry. she had pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like one of those things where it was like surreal because you, if you don't see him, you know, it's still like, you know, she's somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of how I deal with them. I mean, I, I really don't, um, I, I mean, nobody wants to go to a funeral. I mean, but I don't really go to wakes. And then even I go to funerals, I sit way back because mm -hmm. I want to remember you how I Mm -hmm. I remembered you, you know what I mean? I don't want to bask in that thought because I'm a dreamer and I dream in color and I, and, and I have very vivid dreams, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I don't want to dream now. I want to think about you being happy. I want to think about you. So with, with that being said, I mean, it, it, it really brought us together and it really made, like far as relationships, it, it made me see the importance of what we haven't been doing. Mm. And that's really getting to know each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like even family, like we like finding out we don't even know each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you like, okay, you like the kind of tacos? Or, right. You know what I mean? I didn't know you like the crunchy tacos. I mean, just little simple stuff, silly things. You know, I learned so much about, you know, my sister, about because cause that was, she was, she was the one who lost her mother. And I was, you know, I really had to start loving on her. And then I just found out so many things about her and so many things about my mom in that relationship being a mother to her because she lost her mother. It was just so many Dynamic. just cross references and, mm -hmm. and, and, and just different things. And now you got to like, even in now, because we're still in it for real, yeah. it just makes you pay more attention and then more things are more important. Yeah. It's like things I'm like, okay, I'm going to get the Maybach. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get, bro, I put all that on hold. And it wasn't just because of the pandemic. It was just because, like, damn, ain't none of that important. Yeah. Right. right. Ain't none of that really important. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Because when you walk in the house and you see your kids, they don't they don't see no payback. They don't see. Amen. They don't even see these diamonds. You know what I'm saying? We, don't make we, we like them. You know what I'm saying? We acquire them. Most of them are gifts. You know what I mean? Thankfully, but, but I mean, the thing with me is I feel like now is just time to. It's time to really, really get down and do the things that we need to really do. Really, really solidify our relationships. It really made me go in my phone and, and start calling certain people mm -hmm. and saying, hey, yeah. what was you saying about NFTs? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what was you saying about Bitcoin? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we got to think about where the future is going. Right. And it was like, I'm, I'm sitting with these, these Caucasian cats and they saying cash is trash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking at Instagram, looking at my little homies, and they all got money up to their ear. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Right. That's a hard, that's a hard yeah, thing well, okay. to try to make them understand. So now, now it's like you with what you was talking about, like going to Memphis and, and doing things, like we just gotta do more. You know what I mean? We just gotta do more. Cause these these kids out here lost, man, and they so they, they think are. they like up to date and they just like light years behind. So so Fado, that means that means you're a product of your environment, right? Yeah. So in order to be a product of your environment, you have to first be made. A product is something that's created. Exactly. Right. So something created this monster. Yeah. That wanna kill himself. Yeah. Something created this 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 thing that wanna show the telephone on, on with it. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Something created, and I want to make the make the Hellcat do a dance in the middle of the right. road. Spread around. And I'm on percolators. You feel me? Like right. some, something created that, bro. Right. So do we only talk to the babies, or do we got to go attack the creator of that product? Yes. Come on. Because yeah. it's, it's somebody that created this product. That's why I always say society created the crime. I think it's both. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Both. Society created the crime, the people commit the crime. It's both. Mm -hmm. Society created the food, yeah. the people get sick because they eat the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when that's what I'm saying about the product side. Yeah. Because when you go, you got to go to the main source and not the resource. That's this right. is just the resource. I feel like sometimes like the big dogs need to go and talk to the to the big dogs. Yeah. And and we need to find the youngins that can go out there and carry the word out carry to the other youngins it. that can, you know what I mean? We, well, that, we won't even do this, babe. Huh? We what? won't even do this with each other. Right. We won't even say, fake, bro, you a king. Let's really connect with yeah. real. Right. We won't say, bond, bro. Now, boom. Now you got three locked up. Right. Now we created what they call a Metatron of mm. energy to change Metatron. the whole, to change the whole oh, vibration of everything. Yeah. Because you ain't never seen a lion jump in the ocean to do what a shark do. Mm. No. You ain't never seen a shark come on land and do what a lion do. An mm. eagle can't do what a lion does. Nope. So a shark, an eagle, and a lion. Yeah. And we we in our own land. You yeah. come in land, bitch, I'm fucking you up. You come in the ocean, the shark got you. And you come in the air, that eagle got you. Because they all a fish out of water. That's unity. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what community really should stand for, yeah. unity. But they don't. we don't yeah. live in communities, bro. We live in neighborhoods. And what do you do with a hood? I put it over your head to hide the truth on what's really going on. Mm. Damn. See, see, when you go to a community like Disney World, they got their own police, they got their own yeah. money, yep. yeah. their dollars. You know, y'all yep. been there. Yep. Yeah. We don't, we don't have, we don't control our police. We don't control our education. We don't control the information that's coming to our babies. Steve. So if you, if I give you politics and not politics, and tell you it's politics, mm -hmm. but it's really politics. Mm -hmm. If I give you econ uh, money, but no economics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah, how yeah. How you gonna yeah. teach me about personal finance? You didn't tell me about the FICO score. Mm -hmm. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you gotta look. I, you put a you put a book in my face since kindergarten. And told me Christopher Columbus discovered America. Right. Come on. You now you now we all know that's a lie. Right. right. We right. know it was lie when they right. said it. So right. then you if they did that, you think they won't lie about nothing else? Right. If they lied to your face about Christopher Columbus discovering something, mm -hmm. and people already here, already you think been. they won't lie to you about your relationships? You right. think they won't lie to you about your religion and your right. and your food? And they still print them books up. Still and print them still up. Print Newer them versions. Up. I'm gonna add something right quick that may bring us home. Uh, you said an eagle can't do what a lion does, and a lion can't do what a shark does, and a shark can't do, you know, what a cheetah does. And it's important because we touched hands and we all became a Megatron, right? So it's important that I say this all the time. A lot of people love, and I said this before, Batman and Robin kind of ideology. But I'm gonna show you how powerful what he said and this is how we're gonna end this episode. I usually play with the cards and how the relationship stuff today. But we're gonna skip that part because I think this is important because I want you to do this with everybody that's in your life. Because there's a per it, there's people in your life that should be in your life. Yeah. There's some people in your life that should be next to your life and there should be people around your life. Yeah. Three different levels. Mm -hmm. You gotta figure out what level they should be on. Yeah. In my life, next to my life or around my life. Everybody don't need to be in your life. No. Some people need to be next to your life. Right. Uh -huh. And some people need to be around it. Right. But what you have to do is figure out how you find those people. And we find those people by being transformers. And what I mean by that, we X-Men. You know, heard me say it, we all got superpowers. That's so you got cargo, you got cargo, I got cargo, you got cargo, y'all all got cargo, Steve got cargo, and he is the steam engine. Guess what happens? out there in the world, I want you to remember this. As him being the steam engine, one thing he can't be without us and one thing we can't be without him is a train. Mm. It's right. no way yeah. for it to happen. So he can run around here with all the steam engine he want and he ain't got no cargo. Mm. And we can see here with all this great cargo with no steam, steam engine, engine and we ain't, we ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. So it's time for us to set the tone. Hands up. Mm. All the way around. Go back to the back. Hands up. Touch somebody. Let's get it. Reach out yep. and touch. Yep, get it now. So, so now, for real, so you see this depiction? This is the depiction of Transformers. Mm -hmm.
the X-Men coming together for the common goal, whatever it is, happiness, peace, joy, changing the culture, I don't care what it is, love, prosperity, the abundance, belief in God, whatever it is, but this is where it starts right here, this depiction on this podcast, that we are not in fear of each other, we're not in fear of you, no. we're not in fear of your comments, this is who we are, this is what we are, and then we stand together to say, hey man, as black people, it's time for us to be the greatest gift every day and every time they unwrap your gift it should be something in your box that's abundance yeah. we out of here let's talk about it let's keep talking about it let's keep loving let's keep moving the conversations and the culture to another level of altitudes let's be an eagle and take it to a higher level thank you stevie bags for coming in yeah. y'all calling for coming in thank let's talk you. about it they'll be back and y'all keep tuning in let's talk about it let's get it yeah, yeah. transformers for life baby let's talk about it